How you guys doing out there in Facebook and YouTube land? It's James, and I want to have a conversation real quick about, uh, again, about Michael Vick. And the thing is, is that it's, it's, it's real disturbing how there are so many people still condemning Michael Vick. Yes, he did wrong. Yeah, he did wrong. He was wronger than two left shoes on the right foot. He was wronger than the sun and the moon being up at the same time and it being a green sky. He was wrong as uh, purple grass. He was as wrong as I don't know what. The fact of the matter is he is trying to find good lighting right now. It's kind of hard because the sun's right in front of my face. The fact of the matter is, he served time, and I put this on my Facebook page too. There's no, um, there's no correct amount of time for any crime. There's no amount of money that can settle a criminal action. There's no right answer, or there's not enough sorries in the world to to say for anything that you have done that is wrong. But the fact of the matter is that if if Michael Vick is is demonstrating a new lease on life, shouldn't we let him do that? Yes, he dog he he fought dogs. That's wrong. It's inhumane. The whole thing. Yet he is advocating against it. I would say if he was still doing the same thing, that he needs to be put under the jail. There are many people who we've seen in our history. Charles Manson, um, Dahmer, I think he was. Uh, the list goes on. Who have, and there are plenty of people in jail who we've seen documentaries about who didn't show remorse. That deserve the rest of their living days behind bars. They don't show remorse. And that's why they deserve the rest of their life behind bars. Michael Vick is showing remorse. He's advocating against what he did because he knows what he did is wrong. This is why I say give him a second chance because he is demonstrating the errors of his ways. He can't take back what he did. None of us in America who have ever done wrong by to someone, something, or whatever case may be, we cannot turn back the hands of time and redo that action or that word or that deed or that whatever we did. Everyone on this planet has wanted to be forgiven for what they did was wrong or what someone felt they did was wrong or whatever the case may be. Can any of us turn back the hands of time turn back the hands of time and take it back? No. Have any of us wanted forgiveness for anything we've done that was wrong? Yes. I'm quite sure we make mistakes every day that we wish we could take back. Not every day, but we, we have made mistakes that we wish we could take back. We wish that we could uh, go back to some of the people we haven't seen in a long time and apologize because we felt what we did was wrong in the moment. I'm sure that we all have things on our chest that we want to get lifted off. I'm sure that everyone in America has did their share of wrong. So is that reason why I am saying this? If he knows he did wrong, why are we sitting in a position of judgment? We don't have that capacity on our resume. I lost a friend over this. She's a dog lover. She loves she loves animals, period. I'm not gonna say her name. I'm just gonna tag her in this video when I share it on when I put it on Facebook. I 
I don't feel that I can come off of my stance because understanding <clears throat> wanting to move forward in life, I understand that. Being incarcerated is hard. It's tough. Being remorseful for your actions is tough too. Especially when we know that we did wrong. It's getting ready to be 2020. I hope America finds the light. Everyone wanted to jump on um, Brent Jean, that guy who the the guy's brother of the guy who got killed in Texas from that uh, off-duty police officer. Lots of people of my complexion wanted want, was mad at him for doing what he did. He demonstrated the love of Christ. That's what we all should do. I hope I get my friend back. Because she's a good person. And I can understand where she's coming from. She has a couple of dogs herself. But in the same token, I just feel that if you've done wrong by someone and they've told you what they felt about what you've done and they were able to say, hey, I get it. You're forgiven. Can't we ourselves extend that olive branch out again to other people? Paying it forward, if you will. Something that we all preach. We've all done wrong. There's no wrong that's bigger than the next one because it's all wrong if we've done something that's not good. I don't care if it's stealing a piece of gum. I don't care if it's uh, homicide. We've all done something wrong. And those of us with conscience, like Michael Vick, obviously, we've all sought forgiveness. I'm just asking that America looks in the mirror and reflects on things that they've done wrong before and sought forgiveness from whoever they did wrong with. Stealing a piece of gum is just as bad as killing somebody because it's a crime. I love you guys as always.